welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host with the most, your boy, VX Kingpin XV, coming at you guys with another great show. Today is going to be a Naruto uh, chapter manga, uh, 640, finally. And it starts off with a bang, literally. Uh, it's got a lot of explosion, things are happening. And one of the first things that kind of go on is that Obito gets a hold of Sasuke and Naruto. Uh, he two hands them with well, both hands, and he's like about to fuck them up. And just when he's about to like pierce one of his juby bombs right into their heads, they kind of get away. And you know, I'm assuming some technique that just didn't work out. And also, come to find out, the uh, marking uh, from Obito's body it's also gone as well. So, you know, your boy uh, Monado, he doesn't have that little trick up his sleep at this point in time. And he has to kind of figure something out. And basically, uh, Minato kind of has rescued Sasuke and Naruto. And, you know, basically keeps them from getting killed. I mean, what more else could you say? Because they were literally about to be destroyed. Obito had gotten a good hand on these guys. And he was about to fuck him up. So he was able to get him out of harm's way, get him back to safety. And, you know, Beatles doing his thing. Uh, you know, then you see a little bit of Gamakichi. And he's like, I thought I was going to die. You know, <laughs> whatever that is. Uh, I'm thinking to myself, your big ass could have just jumped like 100 miles away. But, you know, it's the cartoon. We still got to love it. And then Minato kind of has a little thought. And he's like, my son uh, Naruto is keeping up with Sasuke. I would hope with the Nine Tails power and this new enlightenment of, you know, with this ability to glow and this and all that, and he's able to hit the Zetsus and turn them into trees, I would hope he's able to keep up with Sasuke. I mean, then I was thinking to myself, him saying he can keep up with Sasuke, why is that important? What does he know about Sasuke to know that he's actually keeping up? Does he not? I mean, what if Sasuke was holding back? I mean, you just never know. Sasuke's always two steps ahead uh, when it comes to his fighting style. So I felt that that was unimportant. Uh, so moving on to the next uh, one. Um, and then we also see, okay, the, the, the getting back to being serious, the de back down to business, and fucking your boy... Toby, Obito, whatever you want to call him, is losing control of his abilities. He's kind of like expanding. He's turning into this monster. Uh, he he's, it looks like a snake at some point. All he has is kind of like this, his hands, and then he has this long torso. So he's kind of turning into a monster. He's turning into the Juby. And obviously at this point, the Juby is taking control. So as the Juby's taking control, everybody's starting to say, okay, while this is happening, while he's unable to control it, we got to get in there. We got to, you know, we got to, like, stop this shit. So he ends up throwing, like, a tail beast blast. And it misses uh, his dad. And it, they said it hits himself. Now, I don't know what that was supposed to entail. And, what, and if it did hit him, why didn't it hurt him? Uh, but when it missed him, it created, like, this wind vortex of some sort. And when you just when you thought, you know, he was turning into a monster... And he was unable to control himself. Your boy Manado's like, okay, let me go ahead and throw up my kunais so he can use the flying thunder god technique. So he was going to try to zip in one spot, maybe throw in a, um, a Rasen gun, zip in one spot, maybe hit him here, like just kind of like Muhammad Ali's ass. But that didn't work out. So <laughs> when he when he got them all, he's like, ah! anyways. Uh, <laughs> He's starting to have flashbacks of Obito. Uh, he sees Obito's unable to control this damn thing. He starts seeing him tear himself apart. He's thinking about all these memories with Obito and when he was a kid <clears throat> and Kakashi and Ren. And it's like, at this point, he's going down memory lane. And I'm thinking, like, focus on the fight. Focus on the fight. Focus on the fight. So, you know, Obito's, like, body is tearing apart, literally. And then somehow, I, I don't know if it's due to a thought, due to some anger, due to his own memories, and he's thinking about this shit himself. He's able, and, and, and the panel shows like pictures kind of going away, like it's kind of separating. And then as he's starting, it's like, ah, going, going to Super Saiyan mode, uh, he starts pulling those pictures back together, pulling those thoughts back together. So he's... 
At this point, I'm thinking he's pulling his resolve. He's pulling his determination. Everything he's everything he's fought for, everything he's done, he's he's doing whatever it takes to control the power of the Juvie. And he becomes this uh, God-like figure. And I mean, on the last ah, he totally transforms his body into something I don't think anybody could expect it. And he's got he's like the sage of the sixth path. Mixed with a little bit of Uchiha, mixed in a little with a bit of, I mean, it looks like he's grown his own sage coat. I mean, shit is going crazy. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, where are they going to go with this? Where could they possibly, what could be the next step in this big battle? I mean, it's so, it's so much that can happen at this point in time. Anything can go. Anything can go. Because right now, he is in full control of the Juby Power, or what it seems to be full control. And he's looking like the Sage of the Sixth Path. Um, I mean, he has a little horn coming out. I don't know how cool that is. But as soon as he kind of gets control of himself, uh, Minato tries to strike him. Shit don't work again. So when Minato thinks, all right, I'm going to zip in. I got his arm off. Uh, not, well, he didn't get him off. Uh, Obito cut his arm off, but he was like, he zipped back, and he thought he was away, and it was like a proximity mine. He already had uh, like a little 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 Juby proximity mine already uh, hitched on him, and everybody's freaking out. Naruto's freaking out, Sasuke's freaking out, and all you see is like this little, I guess the the the, the little bomb got away from him. You just see this little light flash. Everybody's standing around. Minato's standing around. And Naruto's standing around. Sasuke standing around. And Gamakichi is standing around. It, and he's like, I see. It's stuck to me. So it's about to blow. And all the last thing it says, scattering despair. So what that basically means, they're falling apart. Uh, everything was going their way. They were doing their shit. They were doing their thing. Now all this is coming to an end. Where is this going to go? I mean, I don't know. I don't know where Kishimoto's going with this right now. Because I'm thinking to myself... Shit, he's got all this godlike power. You still got your boy Madero on the battlefield. Nothing has gone wrong with him. He is still very capable, Shinobi. I mean, damn. God damn. This stuff is getting crazy. Uh, you guys definitely got to leave me your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. Rate, comment, subscribe. Where do you think Kishimoto can go with this story? Because at this point in time, I see... I see some people getting their asses whooped. Now, what could happen? What could happen? Something emotional. The emotional plot would be, at this point in time, Naruto seeing his dad destroyed by Obito in some violent way, where he just finds his new inner strength, and then Sasuke's looking up like, I'm still behind him. And he has, a, this, has his inner strength, and he's going to start clawing his way back, kind of like when... Uh, uh, when he was going against pain, and he saw, uh, uh, what's, what's his girl, what's his girl, he not a go down, and then he kind of went crazy and all his power, but not in a negative way, maybe he's going to have some enlightenment, kind of like where Goku goes Super Saiyan for the first time, but he's able to control it, that kind of shit, but I don't know, that's just a thought, you guys let me know what you think of it, uh, <laughs> it, it was a great manga chapter nonetheless, and uh, do your thing below, race, comment, and subscribe, and peace!